Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And we have some news from the Buffalo Bills as they continue to bolster their defensive line, which has been an area of focus for them this offseason. And this time they are signing um, defensive tackle Trayvon Hester to a one-year deal, which will continue to add some more depth to that defensive line. Um, we all know through the draft they acquired um, some defensive ends, and so now they're bringing in an additional um, defensive tackle. So they just want to make sure that that defensive line is good to go. And it makes sense, you know, in the division, and not just the division, in a conference, in the AFC, where you have teams such as the Chiefs, you know, the Ravens, you know, the Browns, you know, you're going to make sure you're going to need to make sure that you have a good defensive line that can get after quarterbacks and help fill these gaps, you know, and come in and stop these um, running backs from having a field day out there. Um, you know, Derrick Henry, Tennessee Titans. So definitely you want to make sure that you have, you know, not just a great starting line, but guys that you can rotate and keep them fresh, particularly later in a game, you know, as fatigue starts to kick in, um, especially against teams that like to control the clock. So definitely understand them making this move here. Now, in terms of for Trayvon, he's six foot two, 304 pounds, you know, out of Toledo. He's been in the league going back to 2017 when the Raiders took him in the seventh round. Um, and he's pretty much spent 2017 with the Raiders, 2018 with the Eagles, and 2019 with the Washington football team. And throughout 41 games that he got to suit up for, he got to start a total of two games. Um, and he has a total of 40 tackles, two sacks, one forced fumble, and a fumble recovery, along with eight um, quarterback hits throughout his career. So, um, and that being said, you know, obviously extremely young still, and so he's still coming into his zone. And as we've seen, particularly with defense alignment, you know, a lot of them, they get better as they, you know, continue to gain more experience throughout the league. They get bigger, they get stronger, smarter. So it does bode well for him to continue to, you know, keep landing these opportunities. And hopefully he'll be able to make a name for himself with the Buffalo Bills and contribute to what they've already got, which is a pretty solid team across the board. And we're excited to see how Josh Allen is going to look with another year under his belt, especially after the season that him and Stephon Diggs had last year. Can they build upon that on the offensive end? And so getting a defense that can complement, continue to complement what they've got is only going to be key for them. Um, and that being said, you know, going back to um, his collegiate days at Toledo, um, he had a total of 161 tackles, um, 32 tackles for a loss, 13 sacks. Um, throughout his time and four forced fumbles throughout his time in which he got to um, play with Toledo from 2013 to 2016. So definitely um, a, a very interesting player to keep an eye on and look forward to seeing how Buffalo um, utilizes him moving forward. Obviously got to go through camp, you know, and still compete. This is a very competitive time of the year. You know, that's the name of the game. Pretty much everybody's competing. So um, yeah, definitely excited to see how that's going to look for him and a great opportunity for him with the Buffalo Bills. So thank you so much for joining me for this video hope you enjoyed it and as always as more news continues to drop you can be sure to find it here so thanks again for watching and see you guys next time